Okay, I am back. Thank you for watching uh, my last couple of videos of uh, The Witcher of uh, Hearts of Stone. Uh, I should be making a little short playlist for this video and this will be the final video for this expansion. I hope so. So hopefully it's a little bit shorter. Uh, I know I've been making them one hour long videos, but for the next expansion, which is uh, Blood and Wine, that wouldn't be the case. I'll probably narrow it down to at least like a 10, 15 minute video, something a little bit short, and it'll be categorized by missions. This, I, the reason why I didn't do this with this one, because it's my first time making a live stream, and also a YouTube video and a channel as well, so I'm not really used to this. But um, if you're watching these videos, I am very thankful for that, for sticking around watching it. Uh, so yeah, let's continue on with this one uh, where I just left off. If you have, if you're just starting watching this part, I left off where um, Von Neverick's wife was uh, trapped in the manor. Uh, I killed, I uh, killed her ghost. Now I relieved her from her, um, from her being trapped in the manor. So I took the rose. Now I'm heading back to Van Matter, uh, Van whatever his freaking name is now. And gonna give him back the rose. So hopefully this is the last mission, and also I'll be giving my final thoughts on this as well. Uh, it's a hidden treasure, but I ain't gonna mess with that because I'm trying to make this to a, a shorter video. So let's just go ahead and do this right now. I think it's gonna be a little quicker if I just fast travel over there. Um, yeah, man, so far I'm, I'm loving the expansion for uh, Heart to Stone. I mean, if you're looking to get it and you're, and you're just watching videos, you know, trying to see uh, exactly what it's about, it's awesome expansion. I mean, adds uh, quite a few things to the, uh, to the lore and also as far as, like, the, the story, you know, um, adds a lot to it. Um, also, you get new gear and stuff like that. One thing that does bother me, I'm kind of upset that I was not able to meet the prince or something nice. like that, you know? Uh, not the prince, but you know when you kill the prince with the toad, I don't know if you saw an earlier video. But, uh, yeah, there's a part where uh, the, the toad prince's uh, army or whatever came to rescue him and, you know, dispel the spell that's, that made him into a big-ass toad. So, um, yeah, his father sent uh, soldiers and one mage. Garros gets uh, captured by them once he defeats the Prince Toad. Now he's held into a boat and by the man of many mirrors, or whatever his name is, rescues him and then you have to fight them. But from there on, nothing happens. You know, you don't meet, you don't meet the, the, the Death Prince's uh, men again or army or anything. Like, it's not even mentioned. That's it. Just... It was gone. That's kind of one thing that uh, uh, upset me about this, but whatever. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Sometimes, baby. Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Over here. Oi, wait it looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. More treats. Whoa. Holy crap. Off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. 
So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Ooh. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So, I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. <laughs> I know some of the guys might want to play with Link. Wait, that sounded weird. Who are you really? Gauntero Din, also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grab their wishes. Hmm, he's more or less like a... <laughs> I don't know if you ever guys seen that movie. It, it was a very bad B horror movie where it was like a demon. I, I think it was probably called Boogeyman or something like that, where he'll grant you three wishes, and then from there on, once your wishes are granted, he will come back and collect your soul and kill you. It's a very old movie, very bad, um, but this is what kind of this guy reminds you of. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the oft desire unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Ilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill I your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. <laughs> what the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? Old witcher's trick. I concentrate real, real hard, and I can control time and space. You toss this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lovani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lovani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic. She were here. 
Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. That's cool, you can select it very quickly like that on the PS4. You just press like a R3 and uh, quickly select who you want to talk to or what mission you want to go to first. Alright, so let's see what this uh, chick wants very quick. We all do that. Shani. Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? When? Where to? Not what I wanted to talk to you about, or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door. Said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn him down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could have. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. Don't go, I see. Can't you reconsider and stay? Geralt, what for? The wedding, the time we've spent together, it was nice. But you have your life and I have mine. We... This doesn't make sense long term. You know that as well as I do. The feels. You take care of yourself. You too, Geralt. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Pramathine Shakeslock, Claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor, where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. 
The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Where are you taking me, girl? Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Except mm. your heart. All right. But alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right, let me in. to death on three pounds of steam. <laughs> Told the girl that once. She didn't believe me. Of you rescued of late. I believed I was special. <laughs> you actually do manage fine on your own. One thing I've learned is that you either let the lads beat you or you learn to beat like the lads. So long. And uh, work on your guard a bit. You're dropping it too low. <laughs> what the <laughs> devil? <laughs> well, that was random. Loot. I love looting. Don't die. Oh. Ah, that would have been bad. Damn it.
Ah, just die! Oh my god, they're- ah. Uh. Come on. Come at me. Oh! You know what? Hmm. Wow, that was a pain. Geralt! Psst! Are you there? <coughs> yeah, I'm here. Grab the line! Where'd you get the rope? Uh, long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Ah, uh, all right. I can't get too cocky using this shit because I could die easily. Ah! Cheater. Yeah, that was insanely OP. Boku's lesser key. Tomes about demons, dusty as they come.
Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone looks at the screen. Don't know the sigil. Hasn't been used in ages, looks like. Oh, man. Uncle? Is that you? Leave the bed pun in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eating today. He's blind. Professor Shakeslock. Who the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out. I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? Feigned ignorance. <laughs> Please. You know. Gaunter old dim. Evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant. Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? Curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter O'Dim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness. Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. Paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him. Smiled at me. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Olgierd signed one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. Guess why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. All geared wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. Pact 
signed in blood, and a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. So did Olgird kill his own brother? No, no, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. What? Olgird tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable. But play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. Why was all geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? His heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference. You die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Ogdim at his own game. Meaning? Ogdim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree. And can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. Wow. The sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. Wow. Um... Odin left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tomes. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's put. <laughs> So I gotta beat him at his own game. Clearly that's what I have to do. And uh, the guy I can open this chest, fuck.
Wow, well, that's pretty interesting, man. Can't can't wait to see exactly what's gonna happen. Fuck that, I'm not gonna fight the Drowner. I'm just gonna keep going, keep moving. Come on, Roach. Wow, so pretty much I gotta play him on his own game. I'm wondering what's gonna happen. I think the conclusion might be I might play Quent. <laughs> That'll be some funny shit to do. Okay, so let's save here right quick. And do a quick meditate. And give me one second. Let's go ahead and check something out here as well. Let's see. Alright. So we saved the game, read a little bit of that, and let's see what else is going on here.
Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. You're an art lover. Thought you'd appreciate the place. A witcher with aesthetic sensibility. Forgive my disbelief. <laughs> but since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? Decided she'd treat you like you once treated her. The rose is a symbol of your parting. And a punishment. I suppose I deserve that. Iris, what a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What? What's happening? I feel as though... as though... a hot iron's pierced my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> so glad to see everyone's mind. How do you feel, Von Emmerich? A little less trouble? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you've fulfilled three wishes, and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? What? No. We... We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you fulfilled. Boss, you cheated me. I never cheat. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all gears. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Yes! Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. See me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. Okay, so I guess this is going to be another video. Jesus, man, this is going to be long. I thought this was going to be a lot shorter, but not at all, man. This provided at least 10 now was the gameplay, man. Quite interesting. Uh, what's happening? You wish to play, so let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain. 
and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. Okay, let's uh, save right quick. Okay, save by itself. more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. Wow, okay, so there's gonna be another video. I apologize to let you guys know, hey, this is gonna be a last 